H-back Jordan Newkirk joins us here on GoRedbirds.com following fall camp practice number 14. And uh, Jordan, it seems like since that off day on Sunday, the intensity has really been amped up out here for you guys. Yeah, I think it's definitely uh, prevalent in all the team drills we've been doing. Uh, definitely us and the defense have really get, been getting after each other the last few days. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to go back and forth, you know, trying to get them better every day because they're definitely making us better every day. So, yeah, things have definitely picked up. The defense really dominated the first 10 or so uh, practices at this point, but really since Sunday, uh, the offense has seemed to come together. What do you think has changed for you guys offensively? You know, I think the first thing is, you know, we had a lot of young guys and a lot of transfers come in. Um, first thing, replacing all those five seniors we had on the offensive line uh, is probably the biggest thing. So now I think after those first time practices, the new guys and the young guys have gotten their feet wet, starting to pick up the offensive playbook a little bit, and uh, now we're starting to see what they can really do on the field now that, you know, it's not much of a mental game and it's, you know, just going on the field and, you know, showing your skills, so. Now you're the type of player that can catch the ball, can run with the ball, you're also going to be called upon to block. Given the relative inexperience to this offensive line, no starters returning from a year ago, uh, do you feel any added pressure to make sure that you're increasing the protection for a guy like Matt Brown? Uh, I wouldn't say pressure is the right word. I just say more of a leadership role for the guys. Um, you know, definitely make sure communication is a huge thing. You know, we had a lot of guys in the offensive line last year. You know, that was the biggest thing. You know, I think it was the best time we were like third in the nation protecting Matt. Um, so I think definitely make sure these guys are communicating, you know, make sure we're talking out with blitzes and coverages and stuff like that um, is going to be the biggest thing. As an offense, too, it must be fun to run what you run when you've got veteran receivers to your oh, left yeah. and your right <laughs> and a solid quarterback there behind you. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, Matt and Tyrone has been one-two punch for years ever since I've been here. You know, me and Tyrone came at the same time. And uh, they're definitely fun to watch. You know, we got some new guys added in, like I said, some transfer kids. And uh, some of the other guys have been here getting in the mix a lot. Uh, definitely think it's going to be pretty fun. As somebody who's been through camp before and only uh, six practices now to go before you get into game week, uh, what's the emphasis on over these final few days? As I know guys are a little bit banged up. Yeah, uh, you know, it should be from day one start, you know, even though we are here now, it's just taking care of your bodies, you know, making sure you're getting the cold tub after practice, icing, getting the treatment, proper nutrition, hydration, stuff like that, you know, and then just kind of make sure you're getting your head in your playbooks, getting enough sleep and stuff like that. So uh, just kind of want to keep doing the same thing, same thing we've been doing since day one, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to camp strong with that. All right, good stuff, Jordan. Thanks for your time. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. For much more coverage here from Fall Camp 2012, be sure to keep things right here at GoRedbirds.com.